Hi, I'm Adam Traver, product specialist and salesman at Schaefer & Beer Line Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat in Frankenwood, Michigan. And today, we're washing the Pacificos. Sponges. You gotta have sponges to wash a car, huh? Thank you. The grill is unique on one of these, and this one has a few extra features on it as well, since it is a platinum. This lower sensor down here in the grill is part of our adaptive cruise control system. This also works with our forward collision warning system. These other sensors that are across the front of the bumper are part of our sonar system. That's going to look for an object in front of the vehicle on the front bumper, and I have some more on the rear bumper that look behind the vehicle. Now under the hood between these two Pacificas, we've got a little different motor. So the white one's a hybrid, and that means it's got actually three motors under the hood. There's a big electric motor, a small electric motor, and then a gas motor that can power those two electric motors to help you move down the road. That gets you 84 miles per gallon equivalent, and up to 566 miles on a total range. Now the gray one over here, that has our 3.6 liter Pentastar motor into it. That still gets really good gas mileage too. We average probably somewhere in the 28 miles per gallon on the highway and it gets great mileage around the city. This blue E tells everybody else on the highway you're getting ultimate fuel mileage. When you pop it open, this is where the charging receptacle is gonna plug in for the cord that actually comes with the minivan that stores in the back, I'll show you later. If you wanna charge the van a little bit faster, we do offer a 240 volt option. It's gonna charge the van in a couple hours versus the 14 hours that the uh, standard cord is gonna charge it for. Now you can get those from the dealer from us and then you can have it installed by a professional. These wheels are also unique to the hybrid. The other thing that's kinda of cool that happens behind this wheel here is regenerative braking. So what happens when you coast and you're not using any of that energy, this van will capture it again through regenerative braking and actually feed the system power back into the battery. Now with that advanced safety tech package, you also get a few extra cameras around the vehicle. Underneath both of your side mirrors, there's this camera here, and then there's your standard backup camera on the rear. And something I didn't show you on the front was we've got a hidden camera right underneath the Chrysler wings. And when we take all of those views and we stitch them together, you get a 360 degree backup camera which kind of is like you have a drone flying over top of your vehicle that allows you to kind of see everywhere around you as you're backing up. The other cool thing that this mirror has built right into it with safety in mind is this little tiny triangle right here. When somebody's hanging out in your blind spot, it illuminates. And if you put your directional on, we can set it up where it'll have an audible chime and a visual warning in your vehicle information center. I can lock this van by pressing the button on the outside of the door handle here. Or when I walk up to the car, there's no more digging for my keys. The keys in my pocket I can just touch the door handle and it knows I'm the owner, so it lets me in. The other thing that this van has on it is a hands-free power sliding door and lift gate. Because all I have to do with the keys in my pocket is kick my foot underneath the car and it's going to open the door for me. Same goes for the lift gate back here. I walk to the back of the vehicle, kick my foot underneath, it knows I'm the owner because I've got the key in my pocket and it opens up the lift gate for me. Now that the tailgate is open, I can show you a few things inside. How about that charging cord we were talking about? Holding a seat down in a town and country or grand caravan used to be a four-step process. We've got it narrowed down to two for this third row. I'm putting this third row seat back up. Are you talking about a minivan? Probably talking about a family. I know when my kid's in the car, we need to have something for her to do. This is Uconnect Theater. Get games for the kids. They're called apps. So they're already downloaded to the van, so there's nothing that you'll have to do. One of my favorites is Are We There Yet? It actually tells the kids in the back of the car how close you are to your destination, so that you don't have to get the question, Are We There Yet? And I mentioned the Tri-Pane Panoramic Moonroof. Now the second row of these vehicles usually stows into the floor, but since this one's a hybrid, that's actually where we're putting the big battery. But my other models, they're going to have the ones that have the storage underneath the floor, and they fold all the way down in. Now if you're the passenger in one of these things, you'll have the time to appreciate the blue stitching on the inside of a hybrid, and the really nice trim materials that we use on the interior. Three different temperature zones for your climate. We can control those all through our touchscreen, and we have apps here too. These apps are more for the driver and, on this particular model, the hybrid electric. There's a parking assist where you can parallel or perpendicular park the vehicle. You can also turn off your parking sensors. Pacifica actually has one of the best in class towing capacities at 3,600 pounds. You also have lane keep assist with lane departure warning. That pretty much just skims the surface for a car like this. For more information, come and see us at Schaefer Beer Line in Frankenwood, Michigan.
up here. I can't leave down here. And I can Garden hose is like a monkey with a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> no.